was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no good. <laughs> So close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carby, think. Think. The shipping come. Prext. Right. Good luck. doing here? What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong.
anything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan! What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! Jesus. What are you thinking, Compaq? Oh, God, I thought I was done with you.
You awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day... How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. 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 Take pity on Are you crazy? This is the happy coffee. Grace, stop! Whoa! Oh. 
can't let that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it.
protect them. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Thank you.